Welcome to Trixie's Playhouse. Oh wow, it's me, legend, icon star, teen idol, Toby McGuire. You guys, you're not gonna believe this, but behind this pretend curtain, we got Detox and Katya here ready to help me reveal the queens of all stars for Henny. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh, so make sure that you're commenting below and telling us who your favorite is, who you're voting for, you're rooting for, who's your favorite all-star of all time. Let us know what you want to see this season on All Stars 4. Are you ready to talk to some women? The queen who has earned her spot in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The champion of All Stars 3 is... Trixie Mattel. You're a champion. You're a winner, baby. Oh. You know, people ask me all the time, Roberta, what's it like being a winner? And you know what? It's amazing. I'm rich. Since winning the crown, I've released my second hit album, makeup products, a television show, and oh yeah, I was nominated for a James Beard Foundation Award for my culinary skills. And no, my foundation does not feature a beard. <laughs> It's been a good year, and we're here to talk about All Stars. I mean, what can I say about All Stars 3? You know, it was terrifying, stressful, like every day might have been walking into my own doom, but it was great. And speaking of All Stars, my first guest was a force to be reckoned with on All Stars 2, and her fierce fashion left the judges gagging. Let's take a look. Well, this is hauntingly familiar. Here we go again. Rehab is back in session. My name is Detox, and I am from season five, where I came in fourth. Oh, gorgeous. gorgeous. Hot, hot, she is a hot mess. Yeah. Give me that crown. She's had it. Please welcome Detox. Yay! <laughs> How are you, girl? I'm well, I'm well. You like this pretend living room? I do, I do. The set is really cute. I mean, your living room is really cute. Thank you. I love it. it feels I like love these condoms. It <laughs> Now, what is that? I don't know. Um, okay, so first question, how are you? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you've been in drag every day? I mean, you were such a superstar since before All Stars. Do you feel like you've basically been in drag every day for like, what, six years? I've, I feel like I've been in drag for like 15 years because I've been doing it for way too long. The um, same the same makeup for 15 years? The same makeup. Years. For, for, yeah, I just like just spray keep, it a lot. Just and keep just, going build a fortress around my neck so I don't move. So what do you remember what do you remember most from All Triggered. Stars 2? <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> what do you remember most from All Stars 2 and you just start bleeding? <laughs> just crying and bleeding. It's hard because you for me at least there's so many high points but I remember like the hardest moments. Honestly like one my favorite memory that I will take away is the family episode. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Like, how could we forget you crying in that neon yellow bowl cut? <laughs> <laughs> it was this hair you just grew it out for this. I, did, I just grew it out. I've been growing it like, out for years. That like meme of you. I don't. Maybe somebody can post it in the comments. That meme of you like this. <laughs> <laughs> and, there's, and they put like hearts all around <laughs> you. And you're like, we're the. Um, I mean, my family were all ugly, ugly, ugly criers. So I was like, well, <gasps> like my memory of you in All Stars. That were you just fully naked in silver body paint mm -hmm. and duct tape and a prayer. Did you feel like, I have to ask, did you feel like they, they were gonna be like, that's the only bitch? Or did you think they were gonna be like, you're wearing tape and paint? I knew I was the only bitch. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, yes! <laughs> you're wearing tape and paint and? I didn't give a f what anybody else thought. I just, cause I knew I was the bitch. I love that. Yeah. What do you make of how that season was received by fans? Cause obviously doing it, you expect certain things. What did you feel about the reception of you and the girls and how it went? Well, you know, I mean, I feel like um, obviously the reception of it was amazing, which is why we have an All Stars every year now. Do you know what I mean? Like it was, it. I, there would have been no three without a great two. Right. Yeah. And um, and it was an amazing season. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I believe this belongs to you then. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Crown it or whatever my catchphrase was. Crown it. <laughs> you won well, how many lip syncs? Three? No, I won one lip sync. You but, did? Yeah, I won one lip sync, but well. Katya lost all three. Two. 
I did win two, but I was only given one. <laughs> Katya lost three. I won three. four challenges and I think three or four challenges. I can't remember. Well, while. you have to win the, 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 the final lip sync it is the one really that you have to I won that final lip sync though. If you watch it back. They, they had to Photoshop Alaska in. She wasn't even there. Mm -mm. They had to Photoshop in Katya. <laughs> yep. They never talk about this on All Stars and you guys will notice this. They never talk about the repercussions of who you choose to eliminate, and then what happens when you go home and Alaska's mom burns down your house or something? You know what I mean? Like, you eliminate people and their fans are, will find you. Well, and that's the thing too is like at the time, like you're not you're not considering like, oh, this is the kind of reaction that the fans are going to have or anything like that. You're like, right. this is what this is what I'm doing. And you know, it's the the tough decision for me was the Alyssa and Roxy one because I knew Roxy was not doing well, but I could like I literally couldn't do it. And then as soon as I picked that lipstick. And we were about to start, the cameras were about to roll. I really wanted to, I was like, I, I, in my head, I was like, this is the wrong decision. Really? I did, like I knew, I was like, I'm making the, I'm making the wrong decision, but how am I gonna be like, oh, let's cut the cameras, I gotta go change the lipstick, is that even doable? Can I even do that, is that an option? That Can is I a do gag. that, like. So if you could have at the last minute switched it, you I totally, have. I totally would have, because I knew, what? I love shit like this! I, <laughs> The minute it was done and the minute we were like, I text Alyssa like as soon as we were like wrapped and we had our phones back, I was like, I hate the way that this all happened like that. Like, and I, your message I bounced knew back. I made it. <laughs> she, she said, same fun, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> well, like eliminating someone like Alyssa too, you eliminate somebody who's like an ultimate competitor. Mm -hmm. She knows the game. Right, for we sure. We all have to pick lipsticks. For sure. Sometimes we don't show who we picked. <laughs> You watched season one, right? Or I did. All Stars one? I did. Teams. If you had to do teams from your season, what name would you have picked first? Mmm. Good question. <laughs> Probably Alaska. But she's a, like super I mean, talented, she's a good competitor. An amazing competitor. Brilliant, clever, witty. We bounce off of each other really well. Yeah. Um, and also like knows the game really well. Obvious. I mean, yeah. she turned that party. You know what though? What not that Katya and I would ever discuss it before it went on TV. But when Katya got home and I was like, how was your runways? Katya was like, it was Detox's runway and the rest of us were just there. It's true. So <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're like, well. It's true. I was very proud of the runways, yes. That was uh, that I mean they were amazing. Thank that you. rubber thing. Thank you. Rubber head wrap. Mm -hmm. Condom woman. Condom woman. From your experience, what would you like to see happen in All Stars 4? Ooh. Teams again, no jury te again. I don't want teams. I think. I mean, I don't want a jury. I don't know what. Um, I mean, they're gonna surprise us. Comment below what you'd like to see happen at home on this season of All Stars. More money? You want to see double eliminations, double saves? I don't know. I want them all to go home on the first episode and then have them completely recast it. I love that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a gag if RuPaul was like, "You've not all been officially cast. One of you won't make the real promo either." Gag. Or, what's, what's a good, have you ever thought of like a runway idea that you would like to see? Yeah, none of it. <laughs> no! Are you lonely on this couch? Can we bring somebody else out? If we want to, yeah. Okay. I'm lonely in life in general, but yes, let's bring somebody out here. So our next guest was from the top three of All Stars 2 alongside Detox and Alaska, and originally is from season seven, the Trixie and Katya show, and is basically an all-around garbage person. <laughs> so, excuse the smell, let's check out Katya. Woo! Здравствуйте, my name is Ekaterina Petrovna Zamlochkova, but you can call me Katya. Yowza, Abraham Lincoln. That's me the Baby oil, bitch. <laughs> you did a beautiful obscenity. <laughs> when do I get to blow them? I can't say that. Please welcome <laughs> this piece of <laughs> from hell, Katya. <laughs> How are you? I, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice to see you, Tallulah. Nice to see you. I'm extremely joyful. Thank you. Very Thank happy you. to be here. It's really nice of you guys to be about 15 pounds lighter and sit right next to me on television. <laughs> um, how is everything? Good? Great. That's a very slimming color I made. <laughs> Light, sparkly pink. Great. This is not supposed to be funny, but okay. it's written funny. Okay. What do you remember about All Stars 2? <laughs> <laughs> like a drama victim? Yeah, like, yeah. What do you recall? Well, um, with the help of a great dual diagnosis therapist, I blocked <laughs> most of it out and processed. Um, what do I remember? I remember, um, well, I remember it being fun, because it was. 
It was very hard, but it was fun, and I remember having a good time with you. You were the, ow, ow. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. uh, it, was, uh, it was much less stressful than the first time around, um, mm -hmm. and I feel like every, it was uh, like a bonus round. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was like a bonus round. Especially bonus round for you, because you were doing Drag Race, and then a couple months later, you were on All Stars. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of um, time for growth between seasons. And you made a lot of your costumes for, for Seven. <laughs> did you make any of your costumes for All Stars? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. <laughs> no, I did not. No, <laughs> no, I did not. Um, because did you not. also had no time. No time. Even if you knew designers. Which I did not. <laughs> did no, it. didn't have any connections. No connections, to I was reality. just a, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was like a candle in the wind. <laughs> we went through season seven together. Yes, we did. Tell me what was so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was different about the second time? Did you just feel like? Oh, I, you knew what to do. You knew that you could stand, you, okay, you stand here and then wait for that. And then this is gonna happen. And then it just, it didn't feel as quite, um, if you felt like a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. well, like at a normal season of Drag Race, I feel like if you remember your lines and at least like show up, you could maybe stay around for a little bit. Yeah. But on All Stars, they're like, we saw Bobby Pin. You need to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because everything is like splitting hairs. Yeah. On our season, it was Kasha, Sasha, Katya, Dasha, Masha. You were all Masha. just. <laughs> you were all yeah. Carol to me for like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's. I, I. It's nice to skip all that. Yeah. Um, you, you just, you know each other, you know, like as soon as everybody walks in the room, the pecking order in your mind is established. There's no guessing game. Um, and you don't have to get, you don't have to get, try to remember people's names. And yeah. Yeah, it, it's nice. Did you know All Stars 2 was going to be as beloved as it was? Because it really, I mean, it's my favorite season. Mine too. I think, yeah. mine too. Yeah. It's amazing. I think, I think it's knew, the best one. Yeah. I think it, we knew kind of during it that it was very special. There you go. I gave this to her. You get one too. <laughs> We're just giving them out nowadays. Oh. Yep. Sure. Yeah. That's how it goes. Um, no, it really is the best one. And how many episodes was it? Eight? Eight episodes. Eight episodes. No yeah. week yeah, episodes. Short and sweet. And then when it ended with Read You Wrote You, I remember we were at a bar watching it. I think I was watching it with Alaska. Mm -hmm. And to her, she did it, so she didn't care. But I remember my face was ripped off. Yeah. And the whole bar was just like, this is the coolest top four challenge. Yeah, that was oh. great. That was great. And we worked real hard on it. We did. Really hard. Yeah. You've been read. <laughs> oh my God! Oh. Wow. Chair walking. Yeah. Chair walking. And not looking at your feet. <laughs> We're just like, this is it, sis. Yeah. <laughs> It's either make or break. Yeah. <laughs> or or little, make or literally break. Right. Yeah. Oh my God. Love that. So, what was your. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite memory from All Stars? We were doing the product challenge. Oh, yeah. And we were, I was filming my commercial, and RuPaul was there in a disguise, and she was looking at me. And I remember I was like, I was kind of like struggling with the thing, but then I saw her and she was looking at me like this, like. And then I got like. Um, she looked mad. No, she, oh. she, <laughs> she was like very intense. And I, I felt like, um, I felt like an Olympian, like uh, who had just fallen on the balance beam, but then her coach is in the, in the you know, on the side, like, you can do it. Sure. And, um, and, uh, and I felt like uh, a renewed sense of. Um, Momentum. And, momentum. Yeah. And um, and then I just and I and I, I was re-energized and reinvigorated and I felt very like um, proud of myself like she was my mom. Yeah. And she is. She we is actually did a DNA and test. She's <laughs> <her mom. Yeah. laughs> um, so yeah, no, I would probably from that episode I would keep that memory. Well, yeah, because sometimes on All Stars you get a stumble and then you either regain or goodbye, or fall, Steph. Fall. Yeah, 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 totally. It's awful. Yeah. You didn't have any stumbles. She's like, I can't relate. <laughs> I just never make any mistakes, so I don't know. Like, I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. I mean. So as a professional and veteran of All Stars, what would you like to see in All Stars 4? I want to see a, a physical fist fight. Oh, a, wow. Like a... Um, a fisting. So like the wrestling challenge from season four, but like real fighting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because, uh, you know, words, 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 he said, she said. But what about, you know, I want to see some um, real physical drama. Um, I because at the end of the day, it is what it is. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. It's Hello. not personal, it's dry. It's right. dry. It is fist fighting. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I want to see somebody literally flip the script. Oh, like grab it, yeah, flip, flip it. it. Flip it around, yeah. Yep. Remember, comment below what you would like to see in All Stars 4. Would you like more money? Oh, yeah, why not $300,000? Four. Yeah. In a car. You know, I feel like if they upped the ante a little bit prize wise, if the stakes were higher, tensions would be a little bit more fraught and electric, and then maybe I'll get my fist fight. Or perhaps instead of just going home, surprise, you get eliminated, your home's been decimated. Yeah. <laughs> For, you've been foreclosed upon. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. But everyone you know is yeah. living in, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You just hit the streets, Brenda. Oh, sure. Okay, it's time to talk about the All Stars forecast. Have oh. you guys heard any, like, Tea? Do you think you know anything? Oh. I've heard some rumblings, but I want to hear. I'm waiting for the official. You want to hear I'm from the horse's mouth? That's You've right. got Alaska here. <laughs> so we're going to do this little game where we're going to sort of give each other impressions of these competitors, and we're going to have to guess who it is. Oh, I like this. Okay. And you guys better guess at home because you might beat us actually to the. We're not that smart, so. Yeah. so I'll go first. Who are these two? I don't know. <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. <clears throat> this is gonna be pretty easy because we look a lot alike. Oh, I'm gonna go. Fair Fair yeah. 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 It's Christina Aguilera. So this is what it looks like. She's naked. My name is Pheromone, and I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada. My Madonna is probably the best one here. Every detail is on point. Mom, what are you doing here? <laughs> Senior year, I'm so excited, and prom is coming. Mom, <laughs> stop copying me. No wonder I'm addicted to speed. <laughs> Am I missing something? Can someone tell me if there's another station somewhere that I'm not seeing? I really want a station of my own. I actually just got mine done yesterday. Oh my! I may have to give it another thought, Farah. You won't regret it, Alexis. I'll drink to that. Cheers. <laughs> Alexis Michelle, Pillsbury called. They want their rolls back. Oh. <laughs> no. No. I respect you and love you. Um, you don't love me. <gasps> Pheromone, you're a beautiful queen with a big future. Shine on, showgirl. Now, sashay away. Thank you guys so much. Our first All-Star Four Queen, Pheromone, yay! yay! Viewers, don't forget to comment below. Are you hashtag Team Farah? Hashtag she cries too much? I don't know. Kim Chi cried a lot and she almost won. Uh, so what do we love about pheromone? The crying. The <laughs> crying. The crying. The crying that you don't love me. Yeah. The you don't uh, love me. You don't love me is iconic. Yeah. The, I like just the woman, the womanhood. In my mind, I look just like her. I know that that's a jump, but it's a yeah, jump it's a I'm willing bit, to make. It's a stretch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I've watched her, I've sat next to her doing makeup and I like because I don't know how she'll fare in a competition because everything is the end of the world to her. Yeah. Like she was so doing her eyeliner once and she, she smudged it and was like, Trixie, I'm not doing this show. I'm going to kill myself. And I was like, <laughs> that's extreme. Yeah. I saw her online getting uh, screamed at by a camel. So I'm really excited. I did see yeah. that as well. I'm really excited for her. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha journalism. We've yeah. got the camel here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is a tough one. Deserve, how does, how does she deserve to be on All Stars? Oh, she looks the part. She's perfect, I mean, she's perfectly put together. But has she sent me a fruit basket? The answer is no. No, <laughs> no. I just want to see her look beautiful and cry. I think we can count on that. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. I think she represents, um, I think she really relates to youth culture. For uh -huh. sure. Makeup enthusiasts sure. really love Farrah. Yeah. Teens, yeah. teens who also love crying, love Farrah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, she's very relatable. Yeah. She serves up the relatable teen content. Yeah. She has single-handedly made um, cheek highlight happen. Oh yeah. yeah, honestly. Yeah. And you remember? Do you think? Do you think she'll tone that down? No. No. I think she's turned it up. I yeah. think she will too. It's all stars. Yeah. You have to turn it up. She's yeah. her own ring light. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'd like to see her parallel part. She doesn't seem the type who can do that. <laughs> oh, no. <really>? <laughs> <laughs> she's very. Uh, she's the Cher 
Taylor Horowitz, Horowitz of the drag world. She is. Yes. I totally she is. paused. Yeah. yeah, except she is not a virgin. <laughs> no. Yeah. What do we want to see from Pheromone this season? Crying. Right. Crying, um, uh, tantrums. I'd like to see her fight with someone. Sure. Okay. You're just looking for- You know what, that's, 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 you don't expect that from her, but you know, she was very vocal on the reunion, which was really cute to me. Yeah. She was like, pretty biting. Yeah. I want to see more of that. The camera shot of right. the, you don't love me. She's like, you know, one of those really adorable teacup chihuahuas that hates everybody that gets close to it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to see. Detox, would you like to go next? No. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and we're done. Bye. It was Bye. Good to see you. It's only fair I competing against herself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. So do your best impression of the next All Stars competitor. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, she again? No. It's a she again. Oh, is that? My name is Gia Khan. I'm 23 years old. Gia's a fishy girl. Just got off the boat, you know, a little trip from Asia. Just landed like fresh tilapia. <laughs> oh, yes, you're serving. Are you in a white snake video? What are you doing over there? I'm feeling my oats. Let me feel my own. Absolutely. 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 Heather? What the hell is that? Oh, my new cell phone. Like, hello? Pikachu, thanks to you. Wait, what? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> You're gonna die! We are the comedy queens. Oh, <laughs> yes. Humor always justifies the means. While she's there telling a joke, <laughs> I'm right behind you, Pooh! Oh. So listen to that, cause they're, they're all full, full of beans. beans. Literally. ch 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 chia my pet, make no mistake, I love you from head to toe. Now, sashay away. Oh, this is gonna be good. Chicago sister. Chicago sister. Okay. Well, she's in LA now. Okay, viewers, let us know what you wanna see from hashtag Team Gia. Ponytails, nudity, fighting, giant purses, yeah. worshiping of the dolls, whatever you like. <laughs> This is gonna be interesting. I'm just hoping for another big purse. I want her to like roll in on uh, in a purse. In the purse. And then pop out of it, and then have another big purse. Mm -hmm. And then a smaller purse with a bunch and then of walk out. tilapia. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh, she really like came in there meme ready. Yes, she yeah. She did. Absolutely. And I don't know if it was intentional. No. Which is the well, magic that's, of that's it. That's the best way. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to be overproduced. Well, if yeah. you like cheat out and try to be like, oh, you try to be like, this is my, nobody cares. Yeah, right. yeah. Have a genuine moment. That's right. She's so fucking funny. Yeah. Yeah. And I bet she's gonna fight. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I see that happening. Yeah. I hope she fights Farah for you. Two birds, one stone. Oh. Now available on iTunes. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is an easy question. What do we love about Gia? What don't we love about I Gia? I like the yeah. hairography. Whenever you see Gia perform, yeah. it's whip cracks, it's like whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah. She's a great live performer. She really is. She's fabulous. She live. really is. I think yeah. when you're as pretty as she is, people assume that you just walk on stage and walk around, but she like does the thing. She does the whole she thing. She does all of it. She is stunning visually, like she's beautiful yeah. to look at. Yeah. But she performs and she's fun. Yeah, and the attitude. Uh-huh, it's that yeah. sass. She's yeah. got a lot of fucking sass. She's very good at a backhanded compliment. Mm -hmm. She's like, I love that uh -huh. for you. Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of a raven in that way. Yeah, it's she's cute for she, you. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's like, oh wow, that's very you. Yeah. Oh, damn. But you make it work. Uh -huh. Or like when someone asks Kim, like, Kim, do you like my makeup? Kim, she will go, I like the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> she's obviously said that to me a few times. Oh, what, I love that. What is an anecdote? Like a story. Oh, a story. I thought it was like a limerick. And I was like, you want us to make up poems? <laughs> Poems. Poems. <laughs> Would you like a poem? Do we have any fun? <laughs> Do we have any fun behind the scenes Gia T? Oh yes, yes. Did she fight you? No. <laughs> no. My favorite. Not yet. My favorite Gia moment by far. We were in a cab in Brazil performing together. 
everything was quiet. She turns over to me and she says, Katya, do you believe in milk and cookies? Ah! I never forget it for as long as Did you as say, I live. no thank you, I like, weirdo? I was like, I was like, <gasps> oh, it was, it wasn't You pulled Christmas. it out of your purse, though, probably. It was <laughs> so, Actually. Oh, it was so fun. My favorite thing of her, she taught me this phrase, which is when somebody is really attracted to drag queens, does he worship the dolls? Uh -huh. <laughs> does he worship the dolls? That's so like. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, I love it. Everything she says is so funny. And yeah, fabulous. she says some cool, um, like her finale for season six, that really beautiful Japanese look. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Great. What does she have to prove? Oh. That's a hard question. It makes it, it sound like people question. aren't proving themselves every day, but. Yeah, I don't know if it's something to prove, but it'll be certainly uh, an interesting kind of reef framing in the competition as a woman right. a drag queen, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, she might you be know. a lot of people's first, I mean, if you live in like rural America, you might not have like a trans friend. She might right, be their right, first right. visual like representation. Yeah. Do you yeah. think it'll confuse people? People go, oh, I get it. Trans people and drag queens are the same. Or do you think it will clarify? I hope, hope it will so. clarify. I hope so. so yeah, because a, a showgirl is not the same thing as a trans woman. Right. So it'll be like a nice to see that. Um, demarcation. And it will also be very interesting because, you know, there's a lot of weight on her shoulders now coming into the competition as the first openly trans contestant that has been completely open about it is going into the competition as a trans woman. Yeah. yeah. Um, has transitioned while we've known her. Totally. Yeah. Through this whole experience. So that's a lot of weight to be put on. Yeah. She has gained weight. No, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay, Katya, look at your card and do your impression. Oh no. Just as I thought. Yeah! <laughs> Jason and Masters! Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm here. We made it, bitches! Yeah. Yeah. I'm Jasmine Masters. I'm 37 years old. Ding. How did you get this body? Girl, I don't know. Jasmine is class and elegance. Jasmine is it. No tea, no shade, no pink lemonade, but looking at some of these queens, I'm thinking, Rue, you don't want to see these girls up in here naked. I know you don't. Jasmine Masters. Uh -oh. Now sissy that wall. I dropped the cocoon, and a butterfly is coming out. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Jasmine Masters. Where did you get a loaf of bread? <laughs> <laughs> He used to take me into the cockpit. He'd blindfold me and say unspeakable things. And I loved it. I loved it. Jasmine girl, you are a prima donna and a true diva. I know that's right. And you best to believe her. Now, sachet away. The queen of, I mean, social media queen. Oh, the meme queen of the century. So don't forget to comment below your favorite Jasmine Masters moment, hashtag Team Jasmine. She represents somebody who never tries to be iconic and quotable. Right. Yeah. Like this a social is, media. She just is iconic and quotable. She is yes. iconic. And she has something to say. Oh, she She's sure not does. like, get a ring light and let's type up a script. She's like, I got a few minutes in the sunlight outside my <laughs> car. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> She lets, she breaks it down for you. She lets you know how it is. She's a lot of, um, she's a very opinionated queen. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like good juicy <laughs> <laughs> You like that good yank? <laughs> um, Justin Bieber shared the clip of her talking about bad yeah. breath. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You don't taste that? That <laughs> shit in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's fun because she's somebody who didn't stick around long on season seven. No. We only saw three episodes. Right, so a lot of the, I'm, I'm excited for her because a lot of the drag race girls uh, got to know her very well, but the audience at large missed out, I think, on a lot of her humor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. And it yeah. was a question of um, funny in the moment, and then on TV, maybe those clips didn't hit people as like hilarious. Yeah. 
It's a, a true tragedy. I remember season seven, I was like, this shoe collection is out of control. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this yeah. jewelry display. Yeah. This like floor to earlobe earring situation. Yeah. She's, uh, oh, I can't wait. To, I'm so excited to see her. I'm so excited. Hey, do you have any good anecdotes about her? <laughs> that means it's a story. Can I hear a story? She's a good Kiki. She is a yeah. good, good Kiki. She's so much fun to get ready with. I've yeah. been working with Jasmine for years. Like as soon as I moved to LA, we were um, on the Dream Girls Review cast together. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. So we've worked quite, quite extensively together in Southern California. And she is, everything that comes out of her mouth is gold. Yeah. yeah everything. Amazing. Yeah. Everything about trade, about the weed, about anything in life. Yeah. I also have never seen anyone get ready with latex gloves latex on. Latex gloves! Until I got ready with Jasmine Masters. Yes, latex gloves. Oh. And now gloves. I see it all over the place. She's like a semi-germaphobe. Yeah. Um, she, she does a gagged. wine glass with a straw with stabbed the, through a through napkin. Through the napkin, uh-huh. Red she wine. Because <laughs> she doesn't want anything getting in her glass. Mm -hmm. I like when she said, um, smoke some weed, <laughs> Eat some food, make some coin, and love, love all my friends. friends. That's a key. That's all you need to know. She's um, she's a, a sage, a fountain of wisdom. It's hard to say what does she have to prove, because I think since season seven, the world has discovered her. Yeah. Right, for sure. Yeah. She's somebody who blossomed for people afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I just was at a gig of hers in Chicago, and it was awesome for me to see how lit up that audience was for her. Oh, lit yes. up. Yes. And I was like, ooh, 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 that made me so happy. Because she's such a great performer. Oh my God. She's got a heart of gold. She was kicked off. Right. Crazy. Insane. She leaves and they were going, life. beating the fucking walls. Yeah. I remember once on the, um, we did a, a stop on the season seven premiere tour and she was doing Patti LaBelle and she had kicked off her shoes and she was rolling horizontally down the large downstairs. <laughs> and I was just like, yeah. It's fabulous. She makes a lot of her own drag too. Yeah. She's a craft queen. I remember once I was like, you make your own jewelry, that's cool. Nine months later, we did a gig together and she was like, you, didn't you want some earrings? I made you some. Oh, she gift wrapped them and everything. Aww. She's a good person, so if anybody sends her home, you're dead to me. Yeah. <laughs> I will now perform for you a dramatic reenactment of this person. Get those nuts off on the my face! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Wow! Yeah. My name is Latrice Royale. Latrice Royale is large and in charge, chunky yet funky. Latrice, can you take us to church? Whoa, Jesus is a biscuit. Ah, Jesus is a biscuit. Five G's, please. Good God, get a grip, girl. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Get those nuts away from my face. The winner of this week's main challenge is. Latrice Royale. Oh! Willem and Latrice Royale. You are the winners of this week's All-Star Challenge. Ah! And this year's Miss Congeniality is... Yeah! Latrice Royale. Yeah! Latrice Royale, my queen, I bow to you. And I have one thing to say. Bitches better beware. You have changed my life forever. You have changed the world of drag forever. I love you and respect you so much. And thank you for seeing something special in me. Wow. Yes, and before anybody gets excited, she is married now. I know. Can't have her. Oh. If you guys are Team Latrice, use hashtag Team Latrice. Let us know what you're looking forward to from Latrice on All Stars 4. How exciting. This is her second All Stars. This is her third time at the rodeo. Yeah. Wow. She's like the Mickey Mouse of the Drag Race universe. What do you mean by that? Like she's a mascot of like the oh, positivity yeah. and the fun of She shows. is, for sure. Yeah. She's in every Drag Race event. She's in, every, she's in everything. Yeah. And she's a business person. 
Yeah. She was one of the first queens to have their own management company. Uh -huh. When you think of Latrice on Drag Race, what's your throwback moment? Oh, I love it when she did that lip sync with the pregnant belly to a yeah. natural woman. Sure. That was very I think dramatic that's everybody and emotional. Like, yeah. Go to. That was a really good. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was. She's beautiful. Would you say that she took us to church? I believe she did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the team hindered her on All Stars 1? I think the team hindered everybody on yeah. All Stars 1. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. So it's it's great to see somebody come back from All Stars 1 who can now have an opportunity to shine on their own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think this... in Drag World we're very self-sufficient and it actually throws you off to have to like depend on someone. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah, This and she's one of the most beloved Drag Race alumna of all time. So having her, putting her in a team was like a disservice to her. I think she'll probably go She's probably gonna win. Yeah, I yeah. think in the gay bar circuit, people will definitely be coming in for premiere in their Latrice shirts. Like, I'm calling it now. Yeah. yeah. She's yeah. one to watch. Yep, absolutely. Also one to wash, hopefully. <laughs> 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 I have a fun anecdote about Latrice. Oh, great. She <laughs> <laughs> You know, Latrice is somebody like, for how big of a star she is and how busy she is and how she's done everything, when you do a drag show with Latrice, she's genuinely happy to be there. Yeah. Calm. Yeah. She probably does well under pressure. Yeah. Oh, I have a fun story about her. Okay. Um, there was, we did a, a show on a cruise once and um, we were both uh, late to the meet and greet because we were sweating so much. <laughs> ah, relatable content. Yeah. Uh, we, Slip it in sweat. Yeah. Oh my God, we, she sweats a lot. Yeah. Um, it's as do I, yeah. and uh, so we relate very uh, strongly on that level. <laughs> She's difficult to like overestimate because she can sing, she can do comedy, she looks great. Yeah. Face is dusted on and the And like, people are just gravitated towards her because yeah. she because is that physics. warm, <laughs> because of <laughs> physics, yes. <laughs> I've, let, I've known Latrice for probably 13, 14 years. Oh yeah, she's from Florida. She's from Florida, she's from Fort Lauderdale. She's one of the first queens I met in Fort Lauderdale. And the minute I met her, she was so warm and welcoming and gracious. And has always been that way and has not changed. No matter how elevated her career has gotten and how big of a star she's become, she is genuinely that beautiful, beautiful soul that I met then. She's definitely somebody who, when you meet her in real life, it's like she is exactly what you would think she would be like. 100%. I mean, I remember when she used to tour and come to like my bar and I was like, oh my God, it's Latrice. And she was so nice. Yeah. We will not be showing those photos of me in drag six years ago, <laughs> but. Let's do it. We actually have Trixie in drag six yeah! years ago. Yeah. It's hard to, what is she, I mean, she deserves to be an all-star, but does she really have something to prove? I mean, to me, Latrice coming to all-stars, if I'm, if I'm on all-stars four and Latrice walks in, I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. never gonna get out I'm of I'm walking in with my suitcases yeah. and walking right back out if I see Latrice. Yeah. Do you know what that's, I mean? That's gotta yeah. be intimidating. How do you think the other girls will react to an All Stars 1 queen being an All Stars 4? I think they're gonna shit themselves. Yeah, how could you not? Is it like BB again? Yeah. Rules have been broken. Kind of, yeah. This is new. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not a rule. I guess it's a, it's never been a rule. Yeah, but I feel like it's like super deserving. I would like to meet the person who sits down and goes, Latrice, I don't think you should be here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that person's dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dee, this is you. Okay. <gasps> Shoes! <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Uh, uh, Manila. Manila. Yes! Manila. Oh, oh my God, is it Manila? Let's see. Yeah. Hello. Well, hello. Manila? Hi, oh my God, look at you. I'm Manila Luzon. I am a creative little kid from the Midwest, whose creativity was too big for Minnesota, so I moved to New York City. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Now, is that a nursing bra? Well, <laughs> I thought they looked like rivets, so I went for like a submarine look for my torpedoes. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have boyfriend? I don't, I'm single. Oh, I have blada. You should hook up with him. You should marry immigration, lots of money. <laughs> Manila Luzon, congratulations, you're the winner of this challenge. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Congratulations, you are this week's MVP and the winner of this week's challenge. Yeah! That's my girl. You are the winners of this week's All-Star Challenge. Ah! Wait a minute, how do you not know what you're signing up for? You dirty did this, girl. Oh, Don't well, come on, Teletubby. Teleport us to Mars. What the f 
Is, is this bitch for real? Manila, you are an inspiration. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Now, sashay away. That was the choice. That was, that was a deep cut. <laughs> I was like, Sh shoot. Is it Jasmine again? <laughs> well, viewers, don't forget to comment below what's your favorite hashtag Team Manila moment. Manila of Latrilla. Right. Uh-huh. Whoa. What is that now? Whoa. <laughs> I, I mean, do you think, I mean, obviously they have a Kiki, but do you think they're happier probably to be competing separately now? Oh, 100%, yeah. Oh, sure. But I also wonder if it's gonna be like, they're gonna be like gunning for each other. Fight, do you know what I mean? Fight, well, cause they're, they were some of the most lovable characters from early on. Yeah. They're part of, they're the most, so they're lovable early on. They're part of why people watched and kept watching for uh -huh. Seven or All Stars 2 or whatever. Think about this. Okay. <laughs> nothing, and then just nothing. No, no. Think about this. They could be competing with people who started drag because they because watched of them. them. Oh my, my That's Lanta. like Benjamin Franklin competing with a kite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have like Farah, who's brand new mm -hmm. in our world, and like Latrice and Manila, who are older. Is there gonna be sort of a shirts and skins of like, we are legacy competitors of Drag Race and you're new? Right. Sure. Yeah. Fight! Fight! <laughs> yes, <laughs> finally! <laughs> yes! So she was on All Stars 1 and she is, like Alyssa Edwards, she is back, 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 back again. Back. What do you both think about this? I mean, I love Manila and so many fans just started watching Drag Race that they, Manila might be somebody who could walk through DragCon and not everybody knows who she is because they right. just started watching Drag Race. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, well they're gonna be gagged because she's one of the best all around queens. She oh, is. Runways. Stunningly gorgeous, excellent runways, very funny, super talented, really knowledgeable. Super creative. Yep. And yes. crafty and, and the lip -syncs. smart thinking. Yeah. Quick on her feet, like very she, super witty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's very, very self aware. Like, even on season three, when you're watching it, she knows who she is as an entertainer yeah. and as a character. Yeah. And she knows how to market that very, very well. Yeah. Yeah. And she's not a pushover. Right. Yeah. It's extremely beautiful. Extremely beautiful. And I mean, I mean, to me, I see the blonde stripe and I'm like, that's vanilla. Yeah. I mean, she already forever has stamped that. In 100 years, if someone in drag does a blonde stripe, they're going to be like, that's very vanilla. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hopefully they say, I know exactly who that is. Yeah. I'm excited for all the people at home. This is their first Manila experience. Yeah. You're gonna get your face snatched off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is her third time on Drag Race, her second time on All Stars. What do you think she wants to prove this time around? Do you think she feels like she's done it all? Or she's like, there's this one thing I fed up? Or I think she wants to prove that she's still got it. Yeah. I don't think she has to prove that she's still got it. No. I think for somebody like her, it's like, She's she's probably aware of how many people just started watching Drag Race. Yeah, you know when she was on Drag Race, Aquaria was four. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we looking forward to seeing from her this season? Pineapples. I think she has, yes, pineapples. I think she has very creative runways. There's like, it's it's a great silhouette with color and texture, but it has a sense of humor to it. Yeah. I'd never seen that until her. Everything is super conceptual, but yeah. with um, with a lot of wit, which is really, really fun and refreshing. Yeah. And so drag, like so camp, yeah. but so polished and beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Like the lace and the makeup and the detail, but it still has sort of a comedic gesture uh -huh. always. Yeah, but the silhouette's always really beautiful and glamorous and fashionable. Yeah, and she has, out of drag to in drag, she has not aged. She still looks 16. Yeah. yeah. Bitch. We act like she was on Drag Race, drag race 100 years ago, but. <laughs> she was. Well, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was almost 10 years ago. I remember that lip sync against Delta work. Yeah, she to her MacArthur's lashes off. Park, uh -huh. Oh, wow. My final thought on Manila, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, it's your turn to perform an amazing illusion. Okay. Okay. Um, a PA. <laughs> a janitor. <laughs> oh, it's Monet! Monet. Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to sweep up the competition, girl. I am Monet Exchange, and you better get your currency in check, bitch. Monet 
changes everything. Yeah. Monet exchange. Clean up on season 10. <laughs> I'm literally cleaning the floor with my garment as I'm walking down the runway. And it's fierce. Why are your earrings blue? Because it's supposed to be like water and sponge and dirt. You see what I'm saying? Nope, didn't get that. If these hoes try to come for me, <laughs> I surely will cut thee. I will not hesitate to put thou in a ditch because Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> the Sunny and Cher Show. It's TV. Monet exchange. Freaky money don't make no money. But Monet money show do. Now, sachet away. Thank you. Cha-ching, mother Cha-ching. OK. Monet exchange, or as I call her, pretty Bob. What do you think? <laughs> Oh, I think you're accurate. Hey, are you hashtag Team Monet? What is your favorite Monet moment? Did you say moment? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Monet moment. I She's think... a treasure of New York City. Now, wait a minute. Yes. Okay, she just came off. Just came off, yeah, hot off the season. Similar to you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if she's had any time to sort of re-up uh, re the ante. Well, like that's, that. I mean, you know, especially with the level that it's all amped up to All-Stars, yeah. you know, Going straight from your season, already having to like scrape the bottom of the barrel to make that happen. The very and then wow. You have, well, hopefully she's made some connections and all that stuff in this process. It's a lot. Like, I couldn't imagine going straight from season five into an All Stars yeah. and the uh, like, That's just a, the preparation that you have no, to do. I, I, I mean, when they call you, aren't you almost like, I can't. Right. Yeah. I don't have time. Like, I don't have anything to wear on the road now. Yeah. How do I get 12, 15 looks together? Take your looks from your season and right. just turn, turn them inside, inside, inside out. out. Yeah. Recycle, recycle. Make it work. Yeah. Would you say that she could exchange it? Whoa. Okay. What do we love about Monet? I love her face. I think she looks like Audrey McDonald on HGH, and that is not a read. <laughs> <laughs> I she think she's so fabulous. pretty. Yeah, she's a well-rounded queen. She's extremely funny. She's very witty. She can um, do all the challenges well. Um, I just thought of, okay, I just thought of when Asia <laughs> said to her, your body looks like a can of dog food. <laughs> She is the, I mean, she's not the inventor, but she has really leaned into the pussycat wig. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Totally. Uh -huh. Throw on what a is bus the driver. Term? A pussycat. We call it a bus driver. Yeah. Yeah. I Throw call on it a DMV. A yeah. DMV. Yeah. 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 Well, it's going to be a great year. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, I mean, All Stars short wig legacy is yeah. Tatiana, same parts. Yeah. And then we did a hair on hair runway where I did a bowl cut. You did a bowl cut. Uh -huh. yes, I yeah. did. Yeah. Michelle was like, you look like Sharon Needle's out of drag. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Time to quit. It. I'll yeah. take it. <laughs> yeah. So now, I mean, Monet's probably going to bring her pussycat fantasy. Sure. Yeah. I want the hairlines to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> like the hair shorter? Yes. Oh, until she just has a lace front that's a shaved head. Yes. <laughs> Like Grace Jones, like a flat. Uh -huh. Or like a like a like a fryer. Yeah, fryer tuck. Uh -huh. Fryer. Fryer tuck. I've actually been to her shows in New York. You know, yeah. she's, she's an amazing. These New York queens, you yeah. know, they 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 they're like, you have an hour. Yeah. yeah. And they have to show up every night and yeah. look and do new numbers and yeah. talk about different things. Yeah, while Bob was uh, filming her season, I went to uh Monet's show in New York City, the one woman show, and she she's was amazing. incredible. And she sings. Nobody talks about her singing. Yeah. She's, She's a singer. great singer. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> she is a so great fragile. singer. Okay. And I think she has really beautiful makeup. She does. She's gorgeous. Her skin is that kind of thing. Even when she's lip syncing and sweating, she's one uh -huh. of the people that gets buttery. Do they don't get oily. They yeah. get like gorgeous. Do we? Chichi Devane's like that. Do we? She's complexion. like skin's perfect. Yeah. Would you f with a pussy cat? I have, and I do, and I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, her season was she. She was top six, I believe. I believe so. As yes. was I. She and a Miss Congeniality. Oh, she, she was. was. Yes. Ow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that scene of I remember that clip of her winning Miss Congeniality. She could not believe it. Yeah. She was gagged. You can hear and her mouth. That. You can see her mouth. The word "shut up," uh -huh. which is kind of rude, yeah. but <laughs> not very congenial. But um, she was so beautiful and um. How many sponges are we gonna see? 
Oh, oh God. Just I think she's a very good her. looking man. Oh, yeah, very attractive man. Easy I'm, on the eyes. And fun fact, her male name is Kevin. Oh. I like a Kevin. We need to talk about Kevin. <laughs> we, need <to> talk. <laughs> we need to talk about Kevin. <laughs> okay, it's my turn. Yay. Acting. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, that felt. Oh, that was good. Good. Facts of facts. Oh, uh, uh Mooney Cart. Mooney Cart. Yeah! yeah. yeah. It is Mooney Cart. Cat, kitty, cat, 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 cat. Cat, kitty, cat, cat, cat. Bringing you the heart of season 10, honey. Monique Hart, the face. Oh, there's gonna be flavor this year. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, action. Is she self directing you? Top of the morning to you. Do you want something delicious? That it was succulent, decadent, hot, and vivacious. <laughs> well, you should totally have RuPaul's chocolate bar. The ring. Uh, this is the ring. Mine's is bigger. <laughs> Facts are back. Yeah. Facts are back. Yeah. Monet exchange. Girl, you know better to be black using hotel lotion. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Monique Hart, the heart of season 10, and this segment is called Painted for Filth, honey, or as I like to call it, Painted for the Good Seats, Painted for the Cheap Seats, and Painted for the VIP, okay? Girl, no, that's a giraffe. <laughs> Cows ain't spotted like that. That's a giraffe. I saw it and I was like, oh, brown cow, stunning. <laughs> Monique, it breaks my heart to say, sachet away. I appreciate you for giving me this opportunity. I'm sorry I let you down, and I love you all. Thank you. Now, sachet away. What an icon. Same season as Two from well. 10. Yeah, two from 10. Oh yeah, hot off the heels of season 10. Well, viewers, don't forget to comment below if you are hashtag Team Monique. Let us know your favorite Monique moments. She had a lot of charisma. She, she sure did. did, yeah. When you watched her talk about anything drag related, it felt like she was in your living room. Yeah, big personality. Also, my favorite moment of hers is just a, a quick shot from the finale, um, the final lip sync when she was just like this. I like anybody where you feel like they are you in the moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she reacts very authentically. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my God, and when Cracker said, my name's Cracker, and she was like. And she went. <laughs> Brown cow stunning. Brown cow stunning. Brown cow. Brown she cow was wearing, stunning. was it? It was giraffe. It was giraffe. It was uh -huh. giraffe. Uh -huh. I was yeah. like, are you from the city? <laughs> yeah. Do you think giraffes and cows are the same? Yeah. Well, she seems like a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> she went home on Snatch Game. First of all, triggered. Oh. She picked a political figure. Yes. Yeah, risky choice. Not really ripe for comedy. Although the person who she won. did not reclaim her time. She didn't. No. No. It's always easy to do the second time around too. You think? Yeah. I think so. First time doing Snatch Game can be really, really tough. Snatch Game was hard. Uh, yeah. Snatch nobody game, ever talks about how hard Snatch Game is. is the most difficult challenge on the yeah. show, which 100%. is why it sets people apart. Yeah. All Star Snatch Game is also hard because it's everyone's yeah. veteran right. yeah. moment. It was my first Snatch Game, me and BB's first Snatch Game. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And everyone was what like- What did BB do again? BB did Grace Jones. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty good. Serviceable. Yeah, um, Snatch Game, but in the moment, it's everyone's favorite challenge at home. Uh -huh. And so I'm sure for Monique, bombing that was like, I'm dis I've disappointed my whole family. A lot of blowback at home from that. Oh, one. it's great to go home and be like, what'd you, what, what'd you, what'd you struggle with? Mm, you'll see. <laughs> I dressed as the host of the show and bombed for about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Could have had God on your side, but. <laughs> but she was so charismatic. She's one of the people when they exit, there's definitely a void on the program. The program. Yeah. <laughs> so she's gonna bring a lot to it. I don't care about what she wears or does as much as I care about what she's gonna say out of drag in yeah. a chair. Uh -huh. Yeah. I know that's maybe not the most okay reason, but. No. Well, that's when the viewers, and that's when us, we fall in love with that person and that character, yeah. mm -hmm. is those confessionals. Yeah. Sometimes what they do on the runway and what they do in the challenges doesn't matter to right. a viewer because you're falling in love with them. Yeah. <laughs> She's another very handsome gentleman, very thin. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> Monique and Monet are both from the same season. Do you think there's gonna be like an automatic alliance? 
Yeah, that's yeah, great sure. though. And it's great to walk in there and be like, oh, okay, I have somebody I'm familiar with. You don't have to, you know, it's it's very reassuring and comforting. Well, especially yeah. them coming like straight from their season. Yeah. Those are the people that they've connected with the most and been able to work with the most. So it's like, at least, you know, you're gonna have your buddy there and these other however many contestants. And then they can maybe, help each other. They, yeah, yeah, they can help each other and then uh, stab each other in the back. Exactly. Well, yeah. Okay, because yeah. Monique will be like, can I borrow a wig? And Monique's like, I got this pussy cat She's wig. Like, <laughs> Put it on, girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had that with Kennedy, but I mean, we're not super close friends, so we weren't exactly gonna like share dresses, but mm -hmm. it was nice to have somebody from the same season. Did you feel that way with Ginger? Yes, she was my very best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then your season was like the it was the season five reunion. It was like a season five reunion. There was yeah. half of the cast was season That's five, crazy. which was wild. And you had girls there that were a good kiki for you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, Detox, it's your turn. Okay. Give us your character illusion. Yeah. Oh, um, I like hip hop and I have long legs. Oh, Naomi Small. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I am Naomi Smalls. Check your lipstick before you come for me. First one, I don't blame them. I'm gonna set myself right in the center. Yeah, spotlight on me. <laughs> Serving Scarecrow Couture, Naomi Smalls, and Jazzy Jims. Everyone should take a look at Naomi right now. This is how you win this competition. <laughs> Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. That was only one. <laughs> America's first drag president must give speeches, interviews, and debates. It's gonna be hard to understand kimchi when you're dodging saliva through that strong lift. Bitch, glue down your brows, and then I'll glue down my lace. I cannot wait to see a shot of you and have screen caps go around, and it's just lifted lace. And you know what yours is gonna be? It's gonna be so much light reflected off that forehead because there's no brow on there. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches better beware. Naomi Smalls. Christy. Naomi Smalls. Cindy. Naomi Smalls. Claudia. Naomi Smalls. I love drag so much. It is what like gets me up in the morning, and I have such a need and a want to grow. Drag is about pushing boundaries and pushing yourself. This is what I love doing, and I just want to do this for the rest of my life. I'm a performer, I'm a supermodel, I'm a drag queen. Okay, another Chicago queen now. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to comment below your favorite Naomi moment. Are you hashtag team Naomi? She's amazing. I do feel that on season eight, it was such a Bob and Kim that the people didn't celebrate Naomi enough. Yeah. Because people were so Bob or Kim, so it seemed like Naomi was, and she's young with legs. Uh -huh. Like they didn't celebrate yeah. her for her strengths enough. Well, she has a clear mathematical advantage against the other contestants. No kidding. Her proportions are truly scientifically baffling. You know what happened? What when happened? she was younger, a form of punishment, her parents used to stretch her. Stretch her. Uh -huh. Oh no, I heard that her head got caught in the uh, in the womb. Oh, they just had a, a pull. And they had a pull. And it took like three to four days of just pulling. And pulling. <laughs> yeah. She came out four foot six. Uh -huh. Yeah. They go all the way up, her legs. Well, she they likes- They do go all the way up. They go all the way up. Uh -huh. She likes fashion, makeup. Fashion, makeup. It's great makeup. And she's yeah. one of those queens in real life. It's just like- It's something It's stunning. Yeah. And she has a cool process. She starts with if you watch the Drag Race, she starts with her brows first. Uh -huh. It's this like big concealer Instagram fantasy. Interesting. And she loves hip hop music, fashion, and Caucasian men. She yeah. does. She loves Caucasian men. Gingers. Yeah. She is dazzling. Oh, she it's not large. I mean, it is so, and she makes it look so effortless. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. Offensive. I was I was at a holiday show once where she portrayed the leg lamp from Christmas yes, Story. Yes, brilliant. Yeah. She was legs with a with the lampshade. It was brilliant. That was, was the reveal. Yeah. And people, she has a great sense of humor. She yeah. Is on, yeah. Um, I, I think when queens like her are very beautiful and young, people don't think that they're going to have a great sense of humor. They take themselves. them at face value. Yeah. yeah. And they don't realize that she's, you know, Greener super, Jenner. super intelligent, yeah. super funny. Very self-aware, very witty. Yeah. yeah. And that, I was in, in the audience during that season eight finale, when it's Bob, Kim, and Naomi yeah. had to perform live. Uh -huh. And I love Bob and Kim, but Naomi wiped the f***ing floor with them. Oh, wow. Monday, Tuesday, leg day. Uh -huh. All those mannequin legs. Oh, legs on the menu. Yeah. 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 Do you remember her um, paper runway she uh, did? Yes. It, which inspired that one was her stunning. RuPaul's gown. Yes. Yeah. Full How do you like that? 
And then she did, um, do you remember the makeover challenge when she did that scarecrow look? The scarecrow was oh, so good. Oh, um, yeah. With the like, yes. Yeah. She's very good at uh, uh, sort of combining the high cam drag aesthetic with editorial fashion. Completely. Yeah. She's also, I don't know if it matters, she's fucking nice. She is. Yeah. She's one of the nicest. It does matter, friends. that does matter. It does matter. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of maintenance in those legs too. I've worked with her, there's the shaving, the moisturizing, and the full coverage liquid body uh -huh. makeup and all the over glow. her legs. Oh God. We're lucky I have makeup on my face. Yeah. Are we? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not. What do we want to see from her on this season? I obviously I'm here for the runway. Yes. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really fun to watch her runways. She's one to beat when it comes to like creativity and um, specificity and detail. Uh -huh, yeah. Remember that meme of her up for elimination and Kim behind her waving, smiling? <laughs> You haven't seen that? No. Oh my God, it's a close up of Naomi like, okay, I'm up for elimination. And they asked the other girls to leave the stage and behind her, blurry, you can see Kim going. <laughs> <laughs> such an asshole. She's such a <laughs> she is a troll. Okay, Katya, we are ready for your next character illusion. Okay. Oh, um. <laughs> I don't know who it is again, do you? More charades. <laughs> um. Trinity Taylor. Yes! Yeah. The body is oh, here, so bitches. Oh, <laughs> Girl, I'm Trinity Taylor. Some people say I'm the look and feel of real, but my body speaks for itself. We first met when the princess was in the Waterland Clinic. Getting her itch cream. <laughs> it was for her outbreak. Clamidia. I hope that someday she can find the cure for this. WTD. That stands for water transmitted disease. <laughs> I love hot dogs too. <gasps> Mom, what are you doing here? Senior year. I'm so excited. And prom is coming. Mom. Trinity Taylor. Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. Yay! Congratulations, you're the winner of this week's challenge. I've worked my entire adult life to build the brand of Trinity Taylor. I deserve to be America's Next Drag Superstar. So I'm coming for that crown, ladies. Back up. You are an amazing queen, and thank you for an amazing season. Now, sashay away. Okay guys, are you hashtag Team Trinity? If so, let us know your favorite Trinity moment. She is pumped, cinched, tucked, yeah. taped. Trinity the tuck, the tuck Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. She is an amazing live performer. She is. She is. Truly. Lots of hairography. And cartwheels. Ooh. Cartwheels, jumps. somersaults. Yeah. Rolls. Uh-huh. Fives. No back rolls. No nope. back rolls. Lots of stage rolls. She's yeah. the girl at the show too who if you were having a malfunction, you go, can you stall? Uh -huh. And she can go out there and make it funny for a very long yeah. time. Yeah, she's a totally all around queen. Yes. And um, the uh, great examples of a pageant queen background but with a, a fresh yeah. modern take. Totally, because pageant yeah. queens get pigeonholed. Like they're not gonna yeah. be funny or uh -huh. they don't know how to do yeah. creativity. Yeah, or they'll be stiff or kind of, re yeah, a little bit And I think that she went into season what, nine, was it? Season yeah. nine with that intention. Like, yes, people are gonna like, the people who are drag fans are going to watch this and know me from the, my pageant background mm -hmm. and expect this one thing from me. So I'm gonna go prove them wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Totally. Which made her so relatable and so, like such a well-rounded. Well, she's like a Kennedy her. where people are like, oh, you're a pageant queen. But right. every time there's a comedy challenge, Kennedy. So funny. Yeah. yeah, so funny. Remember Trinity's club kid? The club kid look was oh, ridiculous. My God. Oh, that's so good. Right. Her nun, what was that nun's name? Sister Mary Coon. Sister Mary Coon, silence! Uh -huh. So good. Hysterical. And she, I mean, she I did really... that at DragCon, actually. She oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. And, and her... Which, so smart, are you oh, kidding? The most naked comfortable there. thing. And I really thought in her season, she was like, I thought it was really gonna be her or Shay at the end there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did too, I think we all did. And Trinity's such a good lip syncer, how do you uh -huh. beat Trinity yeah. at lip syncing? Yeah, she's gonna be a force to be reckoned with, I'm sure. Hey, do you have any fun anecdotes about her? We were doing Work the World, 
and we were at a really great, beautiful cast dinner, and she was not having any of it. I was like, taking the experience. It's all about fine dining and cuisine and lovely things. No, I need McDonald's. Uh. Give me a French fry. I will say she's probably one of those people who can eat burgers and she's still about, she's one of those Tiny. people where she's like, I'm fat right now. Right. And you're like, yeah, bones. Yeah, 16 inch waist. I think she has more butt now too. I mean, watching her during the day at drag shows walk around in sweatpants, it's a it's, little miraculous. It's incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah, you would know something. Yeah. yeah. And watching her get in drag where she pulls fabric on over her perfectly shaped body. And she's one of those queens who gets ready in 20 minutes. Yeah. Workhorse queen. It's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, she'll be dead soon, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, she had a great track record on her season and she then it got foiled at the end there, yeah. She had that fight with Eureka, so I hope, if you're looking for fights. Fight, fight, yeah, if fight. if you're looking for fights. Yeah. That fight with Eureka, no, you're done when I say you're done. Lovely gal. <laughs> I know, at th those moments on Drag Race, I forget about the drag. I'm like, I don't care anymore. Yeah. yeah. That amazing lip sync with, well, I mean, she, it wasn't much of a competition, but. That Britney song, I Wanna Go. Oh, against, against Charlie. <laughs> oh, that's well, right. Charlie but she had, was killing well, it. Well, Charlie had looked at Michelle's eyes. If I looked over there and I saw Charlie stone. not doing anything, I would have just been like, okay, well, fine, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you know what? It's a two-step. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that moment where she she does those hair flips. Flipped into this, like. And body rolls. Uh -huh. Yeah. And she does the, the, I don't know what you call it, a jump, car, jumps, car, car, not car roll, jump somersault? Something like that. Dive it's forward. like a diving roll. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's like when toddlers are trying to learn how to walk, yeah. <laughs> but more graceful. Yeah. yeah, she's amazing. Okay, this is the last queen. <gasps> okay. Virgen Guadalupe. Valentina. Yes, of course! <laughs> it's, Valentina! It's Valentina! Hello, it's me, Valentina. Both of these looks brought a tear to my eye. Her walk was fantastic. For me, she was the best model. I was literally shaking, but I said to myself, Valentina, when in doubt, smile. I'm Valentina. I'm also corny. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, sissy boom ba. You're the winner of this week's challenge. I wrote down Linda Evangelista. The smoky eye and the nude lip, I like it. I can never win anything. <laughs> Party! <laughs> Who wants to take my virginity? Oh. Peppermint, you need one. <laughs> Valentina, this is a lip sync for your life. We need to see your lips. Take that thing off of your mouth. I'd like to keep it on, please. It's a lip sync. What part of that do you not understand? Valentina. I thought you had the stuff to go all the way. Now, sashay away. Thank you. Virgin Guadalupe. Virgin Guadalupe. Yes. Are you hashtag Team Valentina? Let us know below your favorite Valentina moment. This is a controversial character. I am obsessed with her. I cannot wait to see her. I also, I'm excited for her confessionals. I'm excited for everything she's gonna do in the show. She's a true diva. She is stunning. She is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. She I has think she's a very large fan base. Beautiful. Especially. Yeah. Rabid fan base. Yes. Yeah. She has an entire community of people who are like obsessed with her. Yeah. Rightfully so. She's amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. The yeah. makeup, the detail. I mean, she looks like the, br like the brow detail, uh -huh. the way she carves but out But she that. caused, you know, like she started a trend with that, with the like etched in. Super defined cartoon-esque etching of a brow hair. Yeah. You know? Very handsome out of drag as well. No, yeah. Sorry. A total character in the confessional booth. I love that beret. I can't, I hope she does like a, she I hope she does another like, because it was a moment. Yeah. She's sort of an Alyssa or a Tammy where there's no delineation where the, it ends or begins. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's she's more of a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she feels the fantasy. She's created the fantasy, she feels the fantasy. Yes, she and she makes people, you know, get on board to that fantasy. Yeah. Uh, she makes almost, she makes the judges get on board and then maybe oh, yeah. Aja not so much on board. <laughs> <laughs> that iconic meltdown. Uh -huh. Oh, to be the like, do you think that everywhere she goes, she has to hear like, your smile's gorgeous? Of course. Poor thing. But she loves that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Imagine having that face and snatching hair close to your head and not looking like fucking Gumby. <laughs> she looks so pretty. I and she has the the confidence, the self-assurance, and the smile of a total psychopath. Until it yes. comes to learning lyrics. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's right. How can we forget? The iconic take yeah. that off your mouth, this is a lip sync. Uh, that was one of the, the few moments during Drag Race where I actually gagged. I could not believe it. I was like, Ugh. But that iconic moment of the mask. Yeah. Ball I'd like thing. to keep it on, please. Yeah. Well, oh. you know what? You know what's kind of amazing about that whole moment is like, A, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, hey. who are you? Yeah. How amazing to like, I mean, I admire that, to have the gall to be like, you know what, I know this is your show, but I'm that's, gonna, yeah. like that's some fucking nerve, that's bitch. Nerve. That is nerve. nerve. Yeah. If RuPaul was like, can we stop the music? Trixie, can you break one of your fingers? I'd be like, yeah, of which, course. Yeah. Which, which one? Which one? Yeah. That was amazing. What, what would you say you're looking forward to from Valentina? I'm hoping that the personality has only grown. Yes. Because um, take it or leave it, she's very fun to watch. Yes. She is. I hope she walks in throwing rose petals on the floor before she <laughs> Red M&Ms. Yeah. Oh. oh, I hope there's a little bit of blow up between Pheromone and Valentina. Well, Remember at the reunion? Yes. Shut the up, Pheromone. The cliffhanger Pheromone. of my yeah. life. Uh, shut up, Pheromone. Did she say shut up, Pheromone? She uh -huh. said shut up, Pheromone. Oh my God. You don't love me. You I, don't like me. You don't she's really like, I texted you and Pharaoh's like, yeah. no, you didn't. Yeah, love that. That's amazing. I love And by that. the way, I love that RuPaul through that was like, Oh, like this. The RuPaul was like. <laughs> totally. Ah! Completely. Yes. RuPaul what was else like, did she say? RuPaul was like, I'm sick of hearing about you guys' wigs and challenges. I want to hear about this. Uh -huh. yeah. Do we think that the season nine girls, Farah, Valentina, and Trinity are friends, enemies, alliances? I hope they're enemies. <laughs> I wouldn't say that the three of them were left as like comrades right. in no. the reunion. No, there could be some tension, a little bit of friction there. But you know what, on All Stars though, everybody always starts out like, you're my friend, and then things go awful. Right. Oh, so, yeah. You're my sister. One bet, yeah, and then it all goes. If someone to shit. says they love you and you're their sister, your name is on a lipstick in their yeah. uh, titty in that <laughs> moment. Yeah. Have fun! Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, good luck. I can't wait to tour with you guys as a group and feel the tension in the air. Yeah. <laughs> you guys comment below. Who are you? Hashtag team so-and-so. Whose team are you on? So what do you two dragons think about this cast? I am excited. I'm excited too. I, I hope there's drama. I hope there's wigs. <laughs> <It's probably laughs> you wigs. do, you hope? Every we time... have like some amazing legends. Yeah. yeah. Some super veterans. We have some really fun new girls. Yeah. In like wild cards per se, like sure. kind of like fan favorites who maybe yeah. weren't just on television. Yeah, yeah. I think it's probably the most diverse bunch in terms of like experience, age, style. It's gonna be good. Yeah. The experience levels and the age gaps are real enough that there's gonna have to be some sort of chosen alliances, even right. if they're not spoken. Right. Yeah. You've got your sisters from ten years ago. Your sisters from your TV show two months ago. Yeah. Oh god. And I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna stick to the same format of having the other girls eliminate them. I love when they do that. Oh, <laughs> it's so good when it when All Stars two when it it was like it's great television. It's really good. My stupid ass thought when RuPaul originally had said I'm not eliminating anybody, I was like, oh good, we're all Let's here. Just work for points or something. <laughs> and then at the end they tally it, so we're like, yeah, it will all be here. All ten of us will be here the whole time, just like you know she, braiding she each really other's did. hair. I really did. She really did. Yeah. <laughs> and then like no. It's, it's gonna be a bloodbath. So who's gonna bring the drama? Oh. I hope from the moment it starts, it's Valentina and Farrah yelling. I know. <laughs> Farrah crying oh. and Valentina yelling. Oh, of course, I thought you were my Valentina's friend. like lighting a candle and, and praying uh -huh. and, and, and Farrah's just like putting on more highlight, like, <laughs> no, bitch. Oh, man. I'm excited to announce that RuPaul's Drag Race Fantasy League is back and you can join right now Ooh. and draft your All-Stars team. Also, the Meet the Queens just got posted so you guys can go watch those to inform your decisions. So much content, off season is over. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was so fun. As a reigning winner of All-Stars, I can't wait to see who joins us in the fake hallway next. Thank you so much to our amazing guests, Katya and Detox. Yay! I'm Trixie Mattel. Keep following RuPaul's Drag Race for everything All Stars 4. Bye! Yay!